Paige, what's the biggest mental health uh, challenge you had to go through? Overcoming like, bad games in sports, schoolwork, um, overcoming challenges. Um, I would say just having like going through like a really rough patch and trying to like pick myself up and like like know that like tomorrow's a new day and I can just keep going forward. Do, do you have any tips for the audience to overcome mental health issues? Just know that it'll always get better. Things always work themselves out. Find at least one person that you could like talk to about it. Like it doesn't have to be like a therapist, like be a friend, a family member, but letting it out is way better than holding it in. What's the biggest mental health challenge you had to go through? Learning how to overcome adversity. It seems like men are kind of forced to go through things, forced to go through things alone where and they don't really get the support that, you know, most women would get. But women are always asked how they're doing. People always are interested in their personal lives, but it's just you and the higher power. So you got to figure it all out on your own, you know? That's part of being a man. Loneliness is a tough thing and a tough thing to deal with. And uh, I encourage you to engage in hobbies, engage in activities, and pursue what you love to do. Try to find a hobby that you like to do, whether it's hiking, whether it's mountain biking, whether it's painting you know whatever try to find something you enjoy to do um, that you can do by yourself and just get to know yourself but try to practice being still and it's going to be hard at first but try to practice being still being silent a little bit you know start off two minutes even five minutes and just build up from there i encourage you to join clubs join groups and a local community and uh, join a club there. Maybe it's a book club, maybe it's a, what, take up new activities and classes like dancing or stuff like that, or attend social events. Like look for events on Facebook that you can go to. Just try to reach out to people. I Watch my other video on my channel on how to connect with people. It's a, it's a pretty good video. But yeah, I encourage you, reach out to God, guys. God is the only thing that'll fill your fill you up um really really he's the only thing that'll fill you up now on to some other videos that you can watch so how have you overcome your mental health issues finding things that i enjoy what do you enjoy what do i enjoy i enjoy i enjoy talking with my friends and talking to people mental health issues do you go through um I, I sometimes i i don't know sometimes i feel like something's wrong i feel like something to do with time I guess uh, I feel like I feel like time's coming by too fast oh yeah I'm not taking advantage of it enough what how could you advantage of it more time by doing things I enjoy like hanging with them it makes the day more memorable yeah I love that man loneliness mm -hmm. oh loneliness mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah how, how have you learned to deal with that I'm being completely honest man like Jesus bro I'm not even kidding yeah. Just Jesus praying every day just going to him when you need and to keep like searching in your Bible dude I'm not even I'm being 100% serious keep looking in your Bible keep searching for him and he'll find you amen bro amen. that's so good dude I believe in Jesus as well following the word just reading the word looking to Jesus honestly just that that's all, you need. That's all you amen. need all you need is Jesus amen amen so I hope you guys enjoyed those videos I've encountered a lot of people that have gone through a lot of mental health issues and um, a lot of people struggle with loneliness so know you're not alone a lot of people feel lonely and um especially when you when you're scrolling on social media try to take a break from social media and just go out in the real world and connect with people how you connect with people is try to understand them be genuinely interested in, the, in their conversation in the conversations and just try to understand and just go up to people even if it's starting at just a grocery store and you say hi to the cashier like That'll fill you up a little bit and um, say hi to somebody. Just even saying hello is big, better, than, better than nothing, you know? So just say, hello, how are you doing? Or whatever. And just start off small and then work your way up to be, start off, just jump outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Keep jumping outside of your comfort zone until you're doing things like talking to everybody you know. That's how I became being able to connect with people. I started off just connecting with people on a small scale. Then I talk now talk to everybody I can. Like it's grown. It's like a muscle. It just grows. You know your comfort zone. 
if you stretch your comfort zone, you'll get better and better at it. Practice. Repetition is the mother of skill. So realize that. I think the better you'll get at it naturally. Maybe you volunteer somewhere. Maybe you figure out where you can volunteer somewhere. Even online community, Facebook groups, stuff like that. But that's an option for you as well. We're trying to hit 1 million subscribers. Scratch that, not, not 500,000, but 1 million subscribers. If you wanna be a part of this channel, subscribe. I really appreciate it. God bless. Uh, we're trying to help people with mental health issues and trying to share uh, Jesus with people. That's the goal of the channel. So if you wanna be in on that vision, subscribe, hit that notifications bell. Thank you so much. That is how to overcome loneliness without friends, being without friends. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day. Be sure to subscribe to Nico. He's one of my friends on YouTube. Uh, he does flips. So subscribe to Nico. The uh, link will be in the description below. Thank you so much. And if you really want to overcome loneliness, practice being alone, you know? Really, like, it, it might seem contradictory, but practice being alone and uh, practice being by yourself because if you can get good about being by yourself, you're gonna be okay with friends. You're gonna be like able to connect with people if you're able to be by yourself. But if you're still lonely, even in a crowd, you know, you have a lot of, I think, work to do. I'm not saying I don't have a lot of work to do in that area, I do. I practice being alone and just being okay with being alone, but without distractions, without social media, without scrolling on social media, without always texting somebody, be still, you know, practice being still and alone and uh, you'll be a powerful weapon. Uh, so your tip is to practice gratitude. It helps writing down what you're thankful for. And that's going to help you when you're by yourself and you ha don't have somebody to talk to because you're not always going to have somebody to talk to, but, but just be thankful for what you do have and what you have right in front of you, your dog, your, what you have, uh, your notebook, um, you know being outside being able to be outside able to exercise exercising is another tip that helps so exercise releasing releases endorphins makes you feel a lot better with yourself so i encourage you to do that another tip is to have five close friends is to bet is better than having you know a hundred um not so close friends like acquaintances you know so I encourage you to keep your circle. I mean, you can still talk to a, like a wide range of people and a whole bunch of different people, but keep your actual circle that you actually connect with well on a small, keep them small. Because when you, when you talk to a hundred people over the course of a month, you're not gonna be able to get to know them as much as if you had just five people, you were like, okay, I'm gonna call these people like every other day or every day and just like connect with them and then i'm gonna meet up with them once once a week like and then the closer ones maybe even more than that or something like that so i encourage you to realize it's not always good to have a bunch of bunch of friends um if you have like five close friends you're doing better than most people